people of the tribe. So I wanted to make a quick video. My nephew, one of my favorite beings in the whole entire world, asked me a question. And I explained it to him in a way that I've never explained this before. Or I've only explained it so many times because it's a new thing right now. But I explained the convergence, that which is just taking place on this 1221 um, solstice. And so he had asked me what it really was about, right? And so why is it the Star of Bethlehem appearance? And, you know, why, what is this all really about? And so this was my explanation and there are astronomers who actually speak of this so it's not unheard of it's just a, a different perception and i offer this perception to you so that which we experience in our solar system we identify it as a sun and a moon right and primary the the sun is where we get all this nourishment right and the heat from um, and there's just so many things we get from the sun itself so we identify we call it the sun and the moon and then we talk about these planets well there are actually astronomers who speak of that Mars and Venus are another sun and moon interesting right um, and so Mars and, and Venus are actually a sun and moon. Yes, they are in our actual, um, <laughs> in our galaxy. They're within our galaxy. But we don't really get the heat from Mars as much as they're playing on an outer, outer realm, like a further out realm. And so they also speak of that if Mars and Venus are a sun and moon, Jupiter and Saturn are another sun and moon. And so they're just on further enough out layers within our galaxy that we don't get the full impact of what our direct sun and moon offer us. It's an interesting perception, right? Very different than what we're often spoken of. So with that being said, what is actually just taking place is that Saturn and Jupiter went through what would be considered an eclipse, right? So they passed by each other at a zero degree mark, creating an eclipse-like star that is being seen throughout the world. Now, the further away these planets are from us, it actually creates a bigger magnetic pull. So even if you're not into astrology, okay, even if you're not into astrology, astronomy makes it so basic and clear. All those planets are just big magnets. They're these unbelievably big magnets that pull at the earth, okay? And so the further away that magnetic pull is, it actually has a pretty powerful effect on us. The further away it is, it can have a bigger impact. It may take a longer period of time for it to affect us, but it creates a bigger ripple in the effect. Okay, so I'll say that again. It, it might take longer for us to feel the impact. However, it's going to create a bigger ripple effect. So what just took place, that's why the today is such a big day, and many, many reasons. One, it being the solstice. But two, um, one, we're gaining more light. Two, Jupiter and Saturn just had what would be considered an eclipse, um, changing its coming out of the Capricorn energy into the Aquarian energy, which is now the new age of Aquarius, which is all about love. All about love. So we just came out of what would be this like disciplinary energy and now we're coming into love right Aquarius the water bearer right he's bringing the waters the purified Christ lighted waters and the star of Bethlehem very interesting right so just a little little
little spin, a little spin of perception. Cool. All right, I hope that offers you some interesting things to think about. Um, thanks. I was just kind of um, in an in-between moment, and that question had been asked of me. And not only was it asked of me, I was asked to reiterate it to, uh, again. So that's me reiterating it. <laughs> Pick up on that. Mwah! Love you so much. Peace out, yo.